Hi guys, in today's video, we are going to use one of the most commonly used reporting tool in the world, Microsoft Excel, and we are going to generate a report based on data which is coming from SharePoint lists. Now we will use SQL List Manager to replicate all the data from SharePoint list into a SQL Server database and keep it synchronized as well. So anything changes in SharePoint list will be reflected in our SQL Server database and we will connect our report to that SQL Server database so that it has better performance and it can retrieve data much faster. So for today's, today's demo, we're going to use three lists, products list, which has the details of all the products with the unit price and current stock. And each product belongs to a category. So we have our categories list and each category belongs to another category group. So that's our third list. And in our report, we will show these category groups and which one is doing the best based on the current stock and total price of all the products. All right, so let's start off. First off, what we need is a SQL Server database, which we will use for our report. So we're going to create a new database and we can give it a name. And that's all we need to do here. All right, now that we have our database, we can create a replication. So let's start by creating a new replication. We're going to use a new connection as well. So let's let's give it a name, a site URL. This is where all our SharePoint lists are stored. We're going to use our Microsoft credentials to connect to it. And let's test it out. All right, that's good. Let's move on to the next step. Now the next step is to basically select the lists which we are going to use for replication. So we know we have three lists that we are using here. We have our categories, our category groups, and our products. Now the next step is, now that we have our SharePoint connection, next step is to create the SQL Server connection. So we're going to use the details for the database which we created earlier. And the database that we just created, we're going to use Windows credential, but we can also use SQL credentials. Let's test this connection as well. All seems to be working fine. Next, let's give it a name. All right, so we have our replication in place and it is running. So it should soon start to replicate all the data from SharePoint list into SQL Server database. So let's move back to the SQL Server database. This is the new database. And if we expand the tables, we should be able to see the new tables. Okay. So you can see our tables are being created. There's one more left, which should be created pretty soon. And here we go. All our, all our tables has been created. And now we're going to use a SQL view for our report, because SQL views are much faster rather than loading the data from all the tables and then, um, and then curing it in the report itself. So it's much faster to create a SQL view. Okay, so we have our details here. Let's select the database that we have just created. So basically what it does is it's uh, uh, based on each category uh, group. It, uh, it shows the total of all the products of their unit price and their current stock. So now let's move to Excel. Now this is where we're going to generate our report. For data, we're going to use the database which we just created. All right, so let's put in the same details here. Now the next step is to select uh, our source of data. So we are going to use our view that we just created and you can see the preview here as well. Uh, there is no transformation required, so we'll just load it up. Okay, so we have our data here. Next is to generate the report. So we are going to use this report for our demo here. Next step is to select the data for this report. So if I click on here, and when I select data, I'm going to drag the data uh, from my view. So you can see horizontal axis is the category groups and the vertical axis is total price and total stock. And there you go. We have our report generated. Looks pretty nice. Now let's see if the synchronization works as well. So we're going to create a new product. Let's say we're going to create a new product from digital products. 
and we are going to create a PC and video games product. So for the category, we know we want to select PC and video games. So let's select that first. PC and video games, let's call it Mario Kart with a unit price of 100. I know a bit high, but whatever, we just want to test it out. And we're going to uh, we're going to get 5,000 of these. So once we save it, then what happens in the background is the, is the service is going to run and it's going to synchronize the data in our SQL server. And it should seamlessly reflect in our report. So let's come here, go to data and refresh all. And there you go. You can see our report has been changed based on the data that we provided. And you can also see that data has been changed as well. So there you go guys, uh, we created a report in Excel based on data from SharePoint list and then we tested the replication and then the synchronization of data as well. Hope it helps. Take care. Bye.